Everybody wants to see the baby. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are showing you guys a day in the life of our 16 pets. You guys blew up the last video, so we thought we would make a part two and share with you guys how we take care of our pets from start to finish. We're gonna show you guys the ferrets, we're gonna show you guys our duck, our chickens, our reptiles that we have, and oh, wait, it's actually 17 pets. I forgot that we also have a fish that Rory takes care of. Um, so we'll give you guys an update on that fish too. You know, we could go and make it 18 if you wanted. You wanna go make it 18? Should we just do that today? Might as well. What's your idea? What kind of pet are you talking about? A, a dog? You're talking about a dog? What are you talking about? Not a dog. What, what are you trying to get, a kitten? No, mm, a me. dog. A dog? Penelope. R.I.P. Penelope. We can't get another Penelope. No, no, nothing can ever replace her. No. Can't do that. Now there is one pet that we have never shared with you guys, um, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. There he is right there. It's our pet Kingston. Um, we usually feed him uh, patty melts. He just got done eating one, right? How was it? Um, it's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. It's just my nephew. He's over visiting. He's not an actual pet. So here's one of our favorite pets right here. This is Enzo the Benzo. A lot of you guys know him. And he gets fed pretty much all day. We just leave his food out, but he's kind of been needing to be on a diet, so we've been getting a little bit better about not giving him too many treats. And right now he's begging my nephew over there for some of his smash burger that we just got done cooking. All right, so this is the star of the show right here, Mr. Diesel, and uh, this is our smartest animal that we have in the house. He knows all the tricks, and he even knows how to manipulate humans. Today Don't you, Diesel? Like for years, and I've let him take the credit, everybody thinks that this guy taught Diesel all his tricks. It was me this whole time. Dude, how, I have to tell him the truth. Diesel one trick. Not one trick. I spent countless hours with him. Just let me be. Training just let me. him. That's why he's as smart as he is. You can't take credit for that. You take care of Monty Scales. She feeds Monty yeah, Scales. Yeah, but Monty doesn't have tricks. I want an animal that can do tricks. He does Monty and Murray don't do tricks. He does this trick where he wraps around mice and squeezes the life out. <laughs> I don't know why he was there. Hello! I'm just kidding, come on. <laughs> I don't want to be in it now. So we're gonna do a little game where we're gonna see which dog knows the trick best. Diesel <laughs> or Enzo? Sit. All right. Boy. All right, Enzo. I want you to go ahead and <laughs> sit. Oh, he did! I don't know why Enzo learned to sit that way, but he sits like a little bunny rabbit. Like Yeah, we call that sit pretty. Sit pretty. That's I don't know why he does that, but he does that. But it literally <laughs> took all of his brain power to learn that to, one to trick. just sit like a regular sitting dog. He's a little special. Like He's there was a diagnosed. lot of concentration going on in his mind. Okay, Diesel, this one's gonna be pretty tough. What I want you to do is lay down. Alright! Oh, Outside! Go You're outside. gonna get your turn next. Place your bets. Do you guys think Enzo can do this? He's doing every trick Enzo. he knows all in a row. Enzo, <laughs> lay down. Lay down. <gasps> he did it! Oh! He did it! Okay, well, I was not it. expecting that! Enzo, you're gonna be the leader of the next round. Can you do it? Yes, you can do this. Alright, Enzo. Sit pretty. He's already doing it. Good boy, <laughs> yes. All right, Diesel, I think this one is actually gonna be tough for you, but what I want you to do is sit pretty. Sit pretty. No, sit pretty. Sit pretty. Mm. Sit pretty. That's bad, I want you to sit oh, pretty. Oh, it's a fail, it's a fail. Oh, yeah, I almost did it. Sit pretty, sit pretty. Ah, oh, it's a fail. It's a fail. All right, Diesel, it's really your time to shine. I want you to roll over. <laughs> Enzo, roll over. 
Roll over. Come on, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Just like Diesel does. Roll over. Go like this. No, boy, that was roll over. So he didn't get it, but that's how I trained Diesel was I would just say roll over and then I would kind of move him yeah, and, and then, then give he, him the treat. He would get it, yeah. That's how he learned. This is what I deal with in my life now. He's on a mission okay, to make the up? dog learn how to roll, roll over. And we've been doing this for roll a good 20 right minutes now because he's roll insisting over. that this roll is done before the end of the video. So if you guys believe in Jesse's dog training, hit your thumbs up. I think we can do it. I think we can have Enzo rolling over before the end of the video. Roll. Diesel, he's so mad because he's like, I know this one. Roll this over. is my time to shine. Oh, come on, roll over. Roll over. Diesel. Roll over. What are you doing? Diesel, you ready for a treat? Oh, oh geez. Oh, Enzo. Enzo jumped off the chair when he heard the he word so treat. Enzo, the only Holy way you're moly. getting a treat is if you roll over. Here, try to see if he's gonna do it. He's oh my gosh, baby. we've been doing this for he's so moving. long. Roll now. over, Enzo. Roll over. He doesn't Come know on, how to do over. it. All right, go back to Jayla. Go back to Jayla. <laughs> Diesel. Diesel, it's your time to shine. High five. Oh, that was too easy. Too easy. Mmm, so good, doggy. High five. <sighs> Not lick my fingers. High five. Look at Diesel's like, I can't. High five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> high five. <laughs> Diesel's like, man, come on. <laughs> high five, high five. Oh, good boy, Diesel. Diesel's, Diesel's taking all your treats. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so funny. High five. Diesel, scary face. Diesel. He doesn't like that one. Diesel, do your scary face. He used to do it. <laughs> He's like scared of me. Him out. So do you want to skip scary face round? Yeah, he's out of I breath. think you want to skip. Yeah, he's out of breath from all those rolling over. This one we stole from my mom and her dogs. Don't come for us, but it's called Be Patient. All right, Diesel, back up, back up, back up. Okay, be patient. Ooh, you gave him the full thing, too. He's like, bro, when are you going to give the command? Is it coming now? Go get it. <laughs> Go. All right. All right, Diesel, you get a gold star for today. Yes. You did so good, buddy. He did so good. Now we're going to see if Enzo can do Be Patient. Back up. Back up. What is he? Okay, back up. All right, Be Patient. Uh uh uh. Sit. Be patient. <laughs> good boy. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> right, Enzo, you did very good. I know it's a lot harder for you than it is for Diesel, so you get your favorite treat. Baby's diet. This is fruit. It's healthy. Sugary, baby. He's gonna he can have a little baby. bit. Take a bite. Wow. Just a bite, buddy. Good boy. That's pretty much our daily routine with our dogs. They're pretty easy. We leave them out food and water, and then obviously we let them outside to go potty. Um, and then we do tricks and, and then we, do tricks. we don't do it. We don't do that all the time We, we could be better about it as dog owners because they really actually enjoy it because they love getting treats um, But we just give them treats for like no reason. We'll just go, hey, here's a treat So I'll show you how we take care of Murray every day um, Bearded dragons are very very low maintenance in my opinion. They're like just the best and easiest pet to have. Definitely for a first pet, they don't poop constantly. They only eat once a day. You can leave them for a few days at a time and it's no big deal. They're quiet. Um, they don't need a lot of free roam, although we do give them quite a bit. Um, they don't necessarily need it. They like it, it's a plus, but they're, I mean, Murray's content living in his tank as well. And um, his food is escaping because I lost the lid to shut it. Oh my gosh. He already had a really big fat worm this morning for breakfast, but I'll see if he still wants more. I doubt it. This is kind of a little baby one, but we'll see if he's still hungry. Yeah, he's full. The worm he had this morning was like as big as that really big one, that big long one there. Yeah, huge. That's like a full meal for him. I do have this calcium that I put on his food as well. We have him in a 75 gallon tank. Um, he's a pretty big dragon, I would say. And he's shedding right now. You can see his like dry, patchy skin on his back. So I just made him a bath and we're gonna put him in a bath so he can get moisturized. Cause you are dry, Murray.
Murray's definitely my favorite out of the pets. Um, yes, we have favorites. I love them all equally, but he's just my favorite one, I would say, like, to take care of. Because he's cool. He sheds. You know, he's just very interesting to me. Um, and this is probably his biggest shed that he's gonna have or that he's ever had since we've owned him. But you can see, like, it's going all the way across his back and, like, onto his spikes. Like, it's a pretty big shed because bearded dragons don't do a full shed like a snake does. They shed off pieces throughout the year. He, when he's getting ready to shed, I think it takes a lot of his energy because he's very, very tired. He doesn't move. He doesn't want to eat. He doesn't really want to do anything at all. And I try to keep him as hydrated as possible by giving him a lot of baths because, well, when I say a lot, like, two a week, um... He doesn't drink water out of a bowl. He just doesn't do that. So this is the only way to get water. And now we just soak for about 20 minutes. Crisis, crisis! Oh my gosh, Ada! I need everybody out. I need everybody hands on deck, hands on deck. What are you doing? Making tacos. What the heck? We have a crisis. The chickens are at the neighbors. They're gonna poop everywhere. Uh-oh. We also have a random pile of chicken eggs here. No idea why. We got two out of the five. I only see four over there. I'm missing a chicken. Freckles back at the coop. Uh, they pooped on you. I got pooped on. Oh my gosh. See you guys. This is the day in the life of 16 Chickens. pets. You get pooped on. They like to poo. Here comes Grumpy Meatball. Always grumpy. Look at him. He actually helps with the chickens because he thinks he's a rooster. He does. Uh, he's grown up with chickens his whole life. He's never really been around ducks. So Meatball literally like perches on things. Um, he's never quacked a day in his life. I don't know what's wrong with him. Good job, Rory. <laughs> you gotta get her. Oh, you let one out. Felicia out, Felicia. You let Felicia out. Felicia. Oh, oh, Felicia's the hardest to catch. Oh, Here, babe, babe. Felicia. Babe, I got it. You got the chicken. Get that chicken. <laughs> Be nice to him, but get him. Get Felicia. Now that they're get in Felicia. our car, they're gonna run because they know like they can run here. I got Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Felicia Meatball is not happy about his ladies being put away in the coop. He does not like this. <laughs> Rory, get Freckle. Get Freckle, get her. You ever gonna get chickens? Everyone says, oh, get the Rhode Island Reds. No. What you want is the Americanos. They're really nice. They're sweet, yeah. No, wait, wait, no. Yeah, Americanos, yes. Yep. They're the best because they they work with any other flock. Like, from our experience, they are fine with new flocks. Rhode Island Reds are very territorial. That's why they'll stay on their own. Yeah, they, they don't let them in. They try. They'll go around Freckle, who's the Americano, just fine. They're their own little baby flock, just the two of them. Chickens have been corralled. And oh. yes, we do do this every single day because we do let our chickens free roam a lot. And sometimes they end up at the neighbors. Um, but we live in a neighborhood that's pretty relaxed. There's a really big farm down the street that has way more animals than we do, like horses, goats, pigs, like a true farm, a working farm. Um, so everybody's kind of used to it around here. I just feel bad because I don't want them going like on the, their patio or their driveway and then pooping everywhere because chicken poop's really annoying to clean up. Um, but I don't think they really mind it as long as they're staying kind of in their dirt area. Then we don't really get any complaints. All right, so this is Meatball. We've had him since he was a baby and uh, he's really, really pretty cool. He's sweet for the most part. He doesn't really like to be pet though because he, he's like in charge, you know? He likes to stay in charge and he likes to be dominant and so we just let him do his thing. So we actually just got done cleaning the chicken coop so it looks pretty nice right now. Uh, we've got uh, their water bowl set up right there and then I got this like big bucket of food that fills up every day. And this is how they stay safe at night because we do have raccoons that come here. But they like to go in there, lay their eggs, especially when the hay is nice and fresh. And they've got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's posts because they love to perch at night. So they'll go up on those posts and just chill the whole night. And then I got these two chickens and they just, they like to free roam, um, but they're still really freaked out of humans because I let another chicken raise these chickens. And so they, I didn't raise them myself. So now they just don't like humans. When you raise a chicken from the time it's a baby, it'll actually be okay with humans. Murray is out of his bath and um, all, that, all that he likes to do is poop in his bath. So there's his poop. Um, that's what he likes to do. Do you guys have bearded dragons that do that? Because that's the only place he'll poop. Oh, there's Murray, he's sucking up all the lights. Did you like that bath, bud? He's going through a major shed right now too. That's like the biggest shed that we've ever seen on him before. You see how it's all discolored on the back? 
major shed for him. I keep forgetting, I keep saying 16 pets, it's actually 17, and Rory's gonna show you guys the 17th one, her fish. Here's my fish tank. There he is right there, you can see him. He's behind these things right here. He's behind those, you can't really see him that good, but he's swimming everywhere. If you can see his friend, yeah, see him right there. He's like right there. There he is. Well, uh, let's feed him. So let's feed him. Oh, hey, Jason. So you just put a little food in there for him. And he'll go up and He's getting get really big. I mean, look at the size of him. All right, so somebody left the hornworm top out. Me. Somebody left the hornworm top undone, and now the hornworms are getting out. Baby, why did you do that? Where's the top? Oh, I don't know. It's lost. We you lost the top. Yes, and they keep escaping now, and they're, like, <laughs> holding on for dear life. Yeah, I... Oh, my gosh. Put them back in there. I'm trying to. <laughs> Everyone, get yourself a handyman. He knows exactly how to fix impossible tasks. You see that? Solutions. Yes. Nobody will tell you the truth, though, Tara. The ferrets are hanging out in the office today. Hi, Barry Boo, did you wake up from your nap? Come here, you big chunky. <laughs> Ooh, Barry, you look like you lost some weight, buddy. Have you been on a diet or what? You and Enzo's on the same diet? Been holding each other accountable? He's like, it's <laughs> the baby, everybody wants to see the baby. Ah! Look at this little sleepy boy. Oh my goodness. It's a sleepy girl. You, there's still a debate about that. We don't know if it's a girl or boy yet, but I think it's a boy. Look at how cute that little face and those little ears. Funny thing about yeah. Peanut is um, he's like our first baby ferret. The other ferrets were already full grown when we got them. And it's so cute seeing the baby compared to the big ones because he's still learning his bearings and he's off balance and he can't like do things all that well yet, but he's learning like when he climbs and it's so cute. Like he was literally in the garbage earlier, like in the garbage can, like in my bathroom and was like, spinning around and then he couldn't get out. Oh, Yeti's sleeping all the way under there. Yes. And Yeti is the hardest one. Like he sleeps the he hardest. Does. And he always goes under something that I cannot get him out of. <laughs> Trying to get the other ferrets to wake him up, but it's not working. I Peanut, think, Peanut think. is like on top of him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you cannot give up. Go wake up Yeti. Go wake good. him up, buddy. And here's Yeti spaghetti. <laughs> we woke him up. Oh, he's like, no, no, I want to sleep. <laughs> I just Yeti like to be tickled or no? Look at him, he's just going right back to sleep. Can you tickle a ferret? I don't really know. <laughs> they just won't you. I just don't think he cares. So sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> Barry Boo! Say hi! <laughs> he can dance, she can dance. Look at this ferret, cause he can dance. <laughs> there goes Yeti to go back to his oh. sleeping spot, but Peanut will not let him be. Peanut will not let him have peace. <laughs> now me and Peanut, little Peanut boy, or girl, I don't really know yet, are going to go show you guys the cage. I'm not gonna show you the bottom level cause that's where they poo, but Peanut, he's about three months old now. So we've, I think we've had him for about a month now. And um, he's insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, parents love to drink water, so I had to get new bowls, big, big bowls. These like big, massive ones are like this size, and they're blue, that big. And then their cage, they have their favorite blanket, this little alien from Toy Story. This is like they're sleeping. They got hammock, hammock. They have a hammock. A hammock right there. We also have these uh, little toys for them that they like to play with. It just opens up right like this. Peanut! There's so much trash in there that they drive in. Peanut, do you like it? Huh? You can't eat the camera, dude. <laughs> and then we also have a ball pit, but the ball pit balls get everywhere, so I don't really let them play with that one. And we also, how did you? We also have um, a a little like tube for them to run in because they love the tube. I don't know what it is about it, but they just love the tube for some weird reason. The ferrets are always, 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 always trying to get out of my room. 
like there's many days where we let them uh, kind of like free roam around the house like just like run around the house we just block like our fridge with like towels so they can't get in there but they're always running around the house it's super cute and today they were in the office because we had some people come over so we didn't want them to accidentally leave the doors open but they just love new scenery and peanut literally gets scared to go downstairs but he's always trying to get out of my room i'm like dude what are you what are you thinking in your head you're scared to go downstairs but you always want to get out of my room that's where downstairs is that's where downstairs is literally insane peanut say hi peanut he's just eating the whole camera okay bye peanut you should go check out whenever we bring the ferrets to the Peanut! When we bring the ferrets to the mall, we brought Yeti and Bear and they loved it there. We got a little stroller for them and it was really cool. They love going inside of things. Like they go under my blankets all the time. Like right now, Peanut was under my blanket. And last night, so I had I was like sleeping and I didn't feel like putting the ferrets away, so I just let them out during the night. So I ended up putting Peanut away because he I was laying down on my bed and he would go under my blanket and start nibbling on my toes. And I, he was like, I was like Seriously, Peanut, you gotta let me sleep. Like, I need to sleep. And so then I had to put him in this cage. It's like, no way you can be biting me the whole night. It's time to show you guys our last pet. Monty Scales. And if you're an OG, like you will remember how tiny he was when we first got him. We've had him for a year now. I know, it's gone by so quick. It doesn't Wait, actually? Yes, we've yeah. had him for a year. And he's getting so big, you can see like how healthy he looks. He's got this nice, thick middle um his meals have been getting bigger and bigger as time has gone on he's growing good nice and slow steady pace but that's what you want and it's pretty healthy snake healthy and happy i would say reptiles they don't really bond with humans they just don't they learn to tolerate humans because they know that we're the ones that feed them and take care of them so they're not going to strike the hand that feeds them but they just tolerate us i don't think they really like how a dog waits for you all day to come home and rushes and greets you and just wants to be by your side at all times. Reptiles are not really they like that. They don't really have a heart, you know? Well, they have a heart, but they don't have like emotions. Okay. They have instincts but more than emotions. But you see Murray right now. Look at Murray right now. He's living his best life. He's just chilling out under his heat lamp. He had a nice bath. He had a nice meal today. Just good old time for Murray Begadino. Yeah, when he puts his mouth open like that, he's happy, he's smiling. That's what that means. You made that up. No, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, science. Today we're gonna pass around the camera and get everyone's favorite animal to take care of. I already told you mine earlier, it was Murray Vegadino. I told you why, all that good stuff, so I'm gonna pass the camera along. My favorite animal to take care of is probably, I would say, Diesel, because he's a smart dog. And that's what I appreciate about him, the fact that he actually has a brain. Yeah. I know Tara's talking about how I did not want to admit that Diesel is my favorite to take care of, <laughs> but because he gives me a hard time. But one of the things I love about him is like he takes care of Rory, like he'll go into her bed and like I bet protect that's where he's at her. Right now. When Rory is like in the shower, Diesel goes and lays by her, or well, lays, lays on the shower floor and like like not inside, but the outside of the shower and like make sure that uh, she's taken care of all the time. I don't know what it is. He just loves protecting her. Hey buddy, you in Rory's room taking care of her? I'm oh, such a good puppy. You're so good, man. I love you. High five. High five. High five. See you guys, see this is why I hate to admit it because now that he has a nice full belly from all those treats, he doesn't want to give me a high five. High five, Diesel, high five. High five, Diesel. Diesel, Diesel, high five! High five, high five, high five. See, he's refusing. Hey, he's Diesel. acting like he doesn't know how. High five. That's what I was talking about, how Diesel's really smart, like, and he manipulates people. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. He will not give you a high five because he's like, well, I'm already full, so what do I gotta give you a high five for? What animal is your favorite to take care of? Um, Diesel. Diesel? Yeah, cause he's always so calm. Yeah. What is your favorite animal to take care of in the house? Murray. Murray? I thought it would have been your ferrets. He's easy. The ferrets are hard. <laughs> so, what animal in the house is your favorite to take care of? Um, probably you. Wow. <laughs> you gotta feed him morning and night. 
Uh, make sure he doesn't forget his You keys. know what's funny? You're just like totally turning into me because I made a joke earlier that Kingston was one of our pets. <laughs> no, but actually, being being serious. Being, being serious, serious, yeah. My favorite animal to take care of is probably none of them, but if I had to choose one, it's Enzo. Because he's so easy. You just give him food in a bowl, water in a bowl, and you take him out potty. Do you do that? No, or but no. like, if I, have to do that, <laughs> if I have to do that, that's my favorite. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember to do one thing. Eat your pickles, kids. Oh.